Hello, I made this Arduino project which doesn't make any sense, which is basically playing sound with an Arduino from data received in real time from the serial port. So basically, the idea of this setup is first to send the data from a, C, a very simple C program written on my computer. So basically, I read a file which I send byte per byte uh, on the serial port. So as you can see, uh, this is actually a WAVE file. Uh, it's encoded in 8-bit. And actually, WAVE files are just um, bytes after bytes which encode the values of the sound wave with some metadata at the beginning, but I don't care. There'll just be uh, some strange noise at the beginning of the file when the metadata is sent, but it doesn't matter. Then, uh, this program sends to the cellular port, which is actually an emulated cellular port through the USB cable right to the Arduino. So the Arduino receives it. And then here is the program that's running on the Arduino. It's very, very simple. As you can see, it just basically reads the serial port and then it writes the output. Uh, it, it, it reads a byte and it writes the output on eight different uh, digital outs, which are the, um, the eight bits of this byte. Here, at the, uh, they go to these resistors. And this is actually a digital to analog converter implemented with a, um, a resistor ladder. So it's a very simple way to convert a digital signal from 8-bit to a continuously varying uh, analog level, which is right here on this, uh, on this yellow wire. The black wire is, of course, connected to the ground. And then this goes to this speaker right here. So you can see the speaker is connected right here to the Arduino, not to my computer, that would be cheating. So right now, so let's now test the program. So I'm going to run the program that sends the data uh, to the serial port from the computer, and the Arduino is going to decode the, this data and encode it in an analog, analog signal to the speaker. So we can see it's actually working. Uh, the quality is not very good, but actually that's quite uh, that's quite surprising because that's not so bad considering how uh, amateurish this is, especially since the data is received in real time without any buffering at all, right from the serial port. Thanks for watching.